one of the really neat things to, to do in Landsat is look at change through time, of course. And one of the most dramatic changes anywhere in the globe in terms of environmental change is the Aral Sea. And uh, the story is that the Aral Sea is an inland salt lake. Uh, at one time, it was a productive fishery uh, salt lake, though, so it wasn't a source of agricultural water. But the rivers that ran into it are a source of agricultural water, and they were also the source of all of the water in the uh, Aral Sea. It, all along the rivers, the Sir Daria and the Amu Daria, there's irrigation uh, that's been developed since the 1950s when the Soviet Union uh, had a big push. So there are irrigation fields uh, for, in some areas in large patches, uh, and then in other places just following close to the river. And, uh, just south of the lake is a massive area of irrigation and all of this irrigation is taking all the water that was going to the lake and the lake is dried up. And you can see just from 1999 forward that the North Aral Sea, the small part on the top, is uh, shrinking for a while and then stays fairly stable. They've dammed that off from the southern lobe and then the large southern lobe on the right hand side completely dries up in 2009. Uh, it's made some recovery since then with some decent rain, but um, they've pretty much written off the lower part of the lake as hopeless. It's, it's just going to be dry. And it has a real uh, negative impact on the area beyond the lake in that all of the, the uh, minerals that have dried in the bottom of the lake and the pesticides and so on are being blown around the area, salinizing croplands and uh, causing health problems. In the uh, artifacts of the imagery, you can see some black areas where it's so bright and reflective off the minerals that are left behind as the water recedes that the uh, algorithm that we use to create the data perceives it to be a cloud and has taken the data out. Uh, but in fact, that's just the very white mineral uh, surface left behind as the water is receding. You might be inclined not to see the bigger picture, but when you can see the whole thing this way in Landsat, it helps really uh, bring together these connections of how, how things work and, and uh, I think it helps for us to make better decisions when we can see things this way.